ended up happening as, as hours went on on Friday night. We're like, okay, we just lost all of these guys. We just, they were like dominoes. They were just falling. And she says it's a miracle thousands of runners could take to the race route Saturday afternoon in the CU area after many police officers were called to protest on the U of I campus the night before. Good evening, I'm Brandon Morano. And I'm Karina Rubio in for Jennifer. First, runners were worried about wet weather raining on the parade. That quickly took a turn when pro-Palestine protests turned into chaos near the alma mater. Our crews were there and we're still following the encampment set up on campus today. That's where we find WCI 3's Amanda Brennan. She's live on the main quad where those tents are still set up. Amanda, this is against university policy, but obviously protesters are still out there. And you can see the scene behind me. There's still tents, protesters, students, banners, all gathered in front of Follinger Auditorium here on the main quad. Now, one thing to note, there's no law enforcement out here today, but the U of I administration is reminding students and protesters that its policy is still in place. Breaking those rules could result in arrests or suspension. Now, it is calm now. However, the uncertainty of Friday really impacting the CU community as a whole. 30 police officers were were pulled from their spots monitoring the 5K and instead brought over to the alma mater where protests were unfolding. Now, that's ultimately why the race was canceled. They had no available officers. Director Gian Seeley says they were ready to cancel Saturday's marathon as well. She had the email drafted and ready to go. Her team needed 64 officers on the route, many of which were at the demonstration instead. The Champaign Police Chief helped them get connected to Illinois State Police, who brought brought in over 40 officers. They ended up with 90, 26 more than that were needed. That was the main reason why the marathon could take off, something Sealy's team has been preparing for for over a year. I'm going to get teary. No words. Would have been an awful mark on Champaign-Urbana, just a terrible mark. Probably would have put us out of business. In fact, I mean, we don't have race insurance. We can't return $700,000 in registration fees. That money is largely spent by the time you get to eight hours before a race. So they really did save the day. As I said on Saturday morning, it was like all of our dogs had died. Our dog had died, and then two hours later, it was we were celebrating Christmas Day or something like that. Um, but all right, so what about that canceled 5K? Well, I asked her about that today, and she says they're working on setting a new date. 4,300 people were signed up to run Friday night. She knows that they owe them. Plus, if you weren't signed up the first time, you'll be able to sign up for the new date. Now, at the end of the day, Celia is just glad that the races on Saturday could happen. Now, regarding the protesters behind me, I asked the U of I today if there were any ongoing negotiations, if there were meetings happening, and the spokesperson got back to me and said that there was a meeting that was supposed to happen today, but only if policy was followed. That would mean taking down the tents and the banners and et cetera, like what you see behind me. So clearly that policy wasn't followed. Therefore, the meeting was canceled. Reporting live on the U of I campus, I'm Amanda Brennan, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Amanda, thank you so much.